Hey everybody, uh, I had somebody in our Facebook group uh, ask me a question. She's a new spinner and she said that she was having a hard time getting the uh, the leader thread and she has an Ashford traditional which I, being totally honest, don't know anything about. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do the best tips I can but, uh, you know, that being said, I'm using a Spinolution and uh, not an Ashford. But I did have a Lewitt, so this was the same way I did it with the Lewitt. So hopefully it will all be uh, similar. So anyhow, this is an 8-ounce bobbin that goes with my uh, King Bee wheel for Spinolution. And it's got sort of these little, they look like safe, not safety pins, uh, paper clips <laughs> almost on it that you put the leader thread in. And I know on, which I, I like that. Uh, the Lewitt has kind of a, that I used to have like a hole in the rod that uh, I would kind of like make a knot in the string and it was it was kind of annoying honestly you'd have to like shove it in there and then I'd usually have to get something pointy like a nail file to get it to like you know the knot in the rope to stick in the hole so I do vastly prefer the uh the Spinolution paperclip looking system on this one so uh I replace my leader threads uh every once in a while usually when they get all twisty and start aggravating me is when I decide they need to be replaced so this is just some really basic uh, mill spun cotton yarn. You can use any kind of yarn you have. I've used hand spun if I had some laying around. I have used, you know, cotton, acrylic, wool, whatever you got. So whatever type of yarn or string you have. I usually cut a decent amount. I like to fold it in two. On one end, so you have like a big loop and then kind of tie a, uh, a knot. And the other end, I might even tie it twice just to make it like extra big because you kind of want it to to catch. I never remember it. So yeah, there's my knot. And what I'm doing, and I mean, it pops off all the time. It's the nature of leader thread. But uh, let's see. And on this one, like I said, it's a spinolution. It's pretty uh, tight. Okay. What I did was I just put, here's my knot, you know, put it under that. Uh, so it's being held, and then the bobbin comes down like this, and we've got this loop. So now I will get this on the wheel, and I'll show you how to get it to thread in. All right, so I've got my leader thread on the bobbin, and it's different on every wheel, but, you know, bring the leader thread through, and I've got the, you know, the little loop end here. You, I like doing it this way. You can also just, like, tie a circle in it if you've got just a single strand instead of a double and just make yourself a loop that way. I did the, like, big double strand so that I get this loop, and it does get kind of twisty, and that's usually when I start replacing it, but you just... You start treadling and you get the twist built up in there. So this will be all twisty. And you, you know, let it go until, you know, see how it's got twist in it now. And you want to get enough, you know, so that I'm holding on to it. So since I'm not letting it go in, it's getting twisted and twisted. And here is, uh, I'm working on Christmas bats here. What I do, and I don't know if this is the official solution, but what I do is uh, I'll put, you know, kind of pull out a section and stick it through my circle. And I like to kind of, so hopefully you can see that, bring that, and I like fold it over like a sandwich. And I kind of purposely, it's not that pretty, make like kind of a little yarn booger <laughs> right there. So I always end up with kind of like a little blob. But by doing that, like I said, with me, I feel like that kind of felt the fiber, you know, it, it catches on to itself. So then that way it's steady. And then the wheel, like I said, you start letting it slip through your hands will, uh, you know, so now the twist has gone down the leader thread and into the yarn, and so whether or not you're doing worsted or uh, woolen spinning, I'm going to do a little worsted here since I'm right up by the camera, you're just letting that twist continue on down. So I think what she was saying was, uh, the girl who asked the question about this, was that she wasn't, it, it wasn't sucking up in there. And this is where, like I said, I'm not familiar with an Ashford traditional, the Spinolution, and the Lewitt did too have these kind of, Lewitt has hooks. The Spinolution has this open peg side, which I really like. The hooks were similar though. They were still pretty open on the side, but you want to make sure, like I said, if you're spinning something thicker, it might be getting like caught up going this way so you just want to make sure if it was a more of a closed hook sort of action that you know you weren't getting a blob that was getting stuck and not wanting to feed in and you also would want to check your tension and of course it's in like the least 
a good spot for the camera right now. Spinolutions have a tension block that is, uh, here we go, back here. <laughs> That's where the Spinolution tension block is, over here. And um, so if you don't have, I think a good general rule of thumb is always start with the tension really light just because it's easier on your wheel and that way it's not like jerking it out of your hands but if it if you're spinning and you don't feel like the fibers being pulled in then you need to make your tension higher so if that were the case i would adjust the tension higher because you want it where like you can hold it and it's not like fighting you but then you also you want it where it will you know pull it in and i like like I said both the lewitt was irish uh tension and then this one is not but it still has a very strong uptake so i prefer a stronger uptake um but some people don't so i mean that's kind of a personal thing but you definitely need the uh you know the tension definitely needs to be adjusted high enough that the it's feeding in if you've checked and you don't have any sort of a uh you know knot or snarl or hang up going in so you'll have to check that on your own just look at the tension block but that's how i uh thread a leader thread and like I said, do the little loop where, you know, you get it and you really, I think folding it over, like I showed folding the fiber like over when you're putting it in, um, that definitely helped secure it, I felt like, to get it to go in. So hope that helps.